everyone. Welcome to I Am In Your Living Room. Today I am joined by Susie and our very special guest, Michael Grant. You may recognize him from ABC Family's hit show, The Secret Life of the American Teenager. Since his first episode, his talent was recognized and his acting roles have expanded. Since then, he has appeared in some of your favorite shows like Criminal Minds, Children's Hospital, which is one of my absolute favorites, Pretty Little Liars, Shake It Up, and Victorious. Michael moved on to building his movie credits soon after. He recently had the star roles in the indie films Fair Heaven and Produce. In Michael's free time, he enjoys playing the piano. This incredibly gifted actor has, has just started, and you can expect to see a lot more of him in the future. Thank you so much for joining us today, Michael. Yeah, of course. Yeah, great to be here. Thank you. So, Michael, so, what has been your favorite role yet? Um, it's a good question. I uh, probably, you know, the um, the pro the project I just wrapped up, uh, the indie film that that uh, she just mentioned, Fairhaven. Um, was a really really wonderful role, uh, but I got to be honest with you, I had I had a great time doing Children's Hospital. That was uh, that was a lot of fun to work with those those great people. Yeah, that show was awesome. I'm obsessed with Lake Bell, so great. Yeah. Um, was great. Yeah. So when did you decide that you wanted to be an actor? Um, let's see. You know, it's uh, something that kind of evolves for me. You know, I came out to LA with uh, some family when I was uh, 14 years old. And so I guess somewhere around, you know, 13-ish or, or something, some sometime around there, kind of, uh, kind of decided that it was something, you know, I wanted to, uh, wanted to pursue. Cool. Well, so who are some of your inspirations? Uh, well, there's a lot of actors I, I really look up to and admire um, for the level of work they do. Uh, a couple of them, Tom Hardy and Joel Edgerton, I think, are really, really fantastic um, a guy like Michael Fassbender is absolutely amazing. I mean, I think he's just so uh, diverse in the roles that he's able to do and and the uh, the characters that he's able to portray. Um, so those are those are definitely some some big influences for me and people I really really look up to. That's so cool. Those are great choices. Um, yeah. What is the main thing you wish to achieve through your career? Um, you know, it's it's a it's a that's a difficult one because I mean it's it's difficult to uh, to put a put a label on the result you know because it's yeah. uh, you know who knows what's what's going to happen or what the future holds but um, I think my biggest goal is you know if at the end I can look back and say that I truly did the best work that I could do at each um, at each juncture you know for each job for each role um, then I think I'll you know have to be happy with that so. I like that. I really like that perspective. Yeah. So, um, you know, you mentioned some of your inspirations, but who are some actors you would like to collaborate with in the future? Oh man, um, actors to work with. Uh, you know, would be. It, I mean, it'd be amazing to get to work with some of those guys, Tom Hardy and and Michael Fassbender. Um, I really have a lot of admiration for an actress like Jessica Chastain. You know, who similar to to both those guys is just so. I mean, she's so diverse in, in the stuff that she's able to do. I mean, she just slips in and out of roles so easily, and that's something I've always really admired. You know, in actors, and I think it's something that's really really valuable. So you know, she'd be amazing to get to work with. Yeah, diversity is so important, and being an actor and being able to like fit yourself into anything is just so cool. But um, how did you, at such a young age, at 13, um, take your passion and turn it into a successful career? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's, um, it's a lot of work, you know, to, to be perfectly honest. But, um, you know, if you love what you're doing, it, uh, it doesn't feel, you know, like work or like, you know, you know, slaving away or anything like that. So, I mean, it's, you know... A bit of good fortune, you know, to be honest. But uh, you know, it, it's just a lot of work and a lot of uh, focus and you know, kind of time, time building, uh, building the craft, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So we we've, we've noticed that you're pretty fashionable in a lot of pictures we've seen of you. So how would you define fashion? How I define fashion? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I um, 
I think it really, whatever you wear really has to speak to you as a person. Um, I know that whatever I put on or, or wear is stuff that I kind of enjoy wearing, you know, in day-to-day -day life and, and things like that. So I think, um, you know, fashion is, is very individual, and I think it can be a, you know, obviously an expression of, you know, yourself as a person or, or something, you know, you want to say or all that kind of stuff. Um, I think most importantly it has to fit you as a person and you have to really feel feel comfortable with what you're wearing and you know and rock it. Yeah, yeah. That's so true. Um so what would you consider your personal style to be? My my own personal style? Yeah. Um I don't know, you know, I'm pretty casual on a daily kind of basis, you know, I um I, I I don't know, you know, I just, um, it's pretty simple, to be honest, you know, kind of uh, shirts and pants, and, you know, jeans, t-shirts, uh, sneakers, that's, that's, that sounds so simple, but that's, that's really about it, um, I, I don't, uh, I don't uh, dress up too much, um, like to, like to kind of be comfortable. Yeah, I feel that, comfortable yeah. is always tough. Yeah. I agree with you. So here at I Am, we are huge advocates of the belief that smart is sexy. This yeah. means we value independence, intellect, and positivity over just looks alone. So yeah. as a millennial, what are your thoughts on smart is sexy? Um, I'm a huge believer in that. I mean, I think that that's I actually I actually think that's really true. You know, I find that in my uh, in my own life. You know, that I think as a person, in order to be be well grounded and and uh, achieve you know things in life and in a career or in you know in whatever you're doing. I think you have to be you know smart or, or, or intellectual or, or able to learn. You know, I also think it's important you know uh, be hungry to learn. Um, and I think it's huge. I mean, you know, it's it intelligence and and being well read and having a hunger and, and a desire to learn from other people, you know, is, is you know, one of the huge uh, ways to, you know, kind of continue to grow as a person and, and whatever you want to do as a, uh, as a, you know, career or anything like that, it's a, it's a I think it's pretty much imperative um, to, to growing in a career. So I, I think it's, it's a huge thing. Yeah. I totally agree. I feel like a lot of um, young teens especially are going to be able to learn a lot from you. Oh, gosh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, um, so, speaking of you in particular, how did being smart and sexy help you in your career? I don't know that I'm sexy so much, but I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, um, you know, like I just said, I mean, I think I've always um, done pretty well in school, and the thing is, though, I think having a passion to learn is such a huge thing, you know, um, whether it's, you know, movies, whether, you know, it's, which is something I'm obviously really passionate about and, and acting and looking at other people's performances or, or, uh, or looking at older movies or, or reading stuff and plays and scripts and all that kind of stuff. I think having a constant desire to grow and learn is, is really the biggest thing, you know. Um, because you can uh, you can have a certain level of, of intellect, but unless you take that and understand that you know you don't know everything yet, um, and continue to grow and and evolve and, and learn more and more things, um, you know it's uh, it you know it, it sometimes doesn't go anywhere. So um, it's been huge for me. I mean, it's a huge part of, of who I am and uh, who I you know try to be on a daily basis. Yeah. Cool. So. Besides smart and sexy, what are three words you'd use to describe you? Um, three words to describe me. Uh, I don't know. Um, fun, I think. Uh, passionate. Um, fun, passionate, uh, you know. Um, probably a little eccentric. <laughs> <laughs> well... I like it. Yeah. They're great words. I like it. Um, so we in all of our interviews we like to do this little thing called rapid fire rapid okay. fire. So okay. 
<laughs> answer the questions as quickly as you can. Okay. Um, so what is your favorite TV show right now? Uh, um, Modern Family. We'll say Modern Family. Good call. Cool. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to, to do aside from your career? Um, watch ESPN. <laughs> <laughs> My house sports center is always on. Yeah, um, huge, huge what sports. What is your all-time favorite movie? See, this is tricky because it changes a lot. You know, whenever I see something that I really love or 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 something, it uh, it changes. Um, all-time favorite movie. You know, I'm gonna say To Kill a Mockingbird because it's just so uh, it's so wonderful. It's such a perfect film and it's uh, got such a great great sensibility to it so it's Kill a Mockingbird for me cool now who is your celebrity crush oh yeah um, I, I think Kira Knightley's pretty pretty cute uh, and she's she's kind of been my I guess celebrity crush for a while um, whenever the Pirates films were coming out I always thought she was just so so pretty you know I was like man he is so pretty in those films, and it's like very surprising because everyone is so dirty, but she's yeah, still man. She so looks pretty. great. Yeah, they're all like grimy, and they're like they have like dirt coming out of their ears and all this stuff, and she's <laughs> like, perfect. Her teeth are like fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favorite song? Favorite song. Um, uh, how about "Viva La Vida" by Coldplay? Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, I, I love that one a lot. I, I love I love that album so much. I think it's such a such a great album. But anyway, it's rapid fire. So. <laughs> <laughs> and last question: What's your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure. Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, maybe Sports Center. I guess. <laughs> Does that count as a guilty pleasure? I don't know. Um, maybe fantasy football is that is that a guilty pleasure? I don't no, know, but I don't feel too guilty about it. So <laughs> at IAM, we run an interactive anti-bullying campaign all year round to encourage teens to be the one who take the ultimate stand against bullying, mm -hmm. using the hashtag Be the One Who on social media to promote awareness and community support. So what advice do you have for teens who are being bullied in terms of standing up for themselves or building self-esteem? Yeah, yeah, that's huge, I think. I mean, in terms of bullied and, and low self-esteem, um, you know, it's tough. I mean, I wouldn't say that I was, I mean, it depends on, you know, what you define as quote-unquote bullying, you know, I mean, but I certainly wasn't uh, the popular kid in middle school. I wasn't, you know, the, the football quarterback or anything like that. Um, so, I mean, it's tough. I mean, the thing for me is, you know, you shouldn't have to take crap from people, you know, and, and I think it, you know, it can be, you know, nerve wracking and feel awkward, but, you know, you just kind of have to just stand up and say, no, I'm not going to take, you know, take crap from you and I'm not going to, you know, just sit back and allow myself to be, feel inferior. Um, and then I think it's important, you know, just to find out what, you love as a person, you know, what you love to do, whether that's writing or, or you know, or, you know, sports or, or uh, you know, or reading or, or anything like that, and then really throw yourself into that and really try to be the best that you can be at whatever your passion is, you know, be it art or, you know, I don't know, making shoes or something, you know. Um, and uh, I think that's, for me, been a way to really, you know, feel good about myself, I guess, is really, um, you know, just doing what I love and doing what I'm passionate about. I like that. I think it's like, those are words I can really speak to a lot of your fans, and I know um, we at I Am always like to ask our guests a little advice section um, mm -hmm. for their fans and for followers and everyone watching. So we wanted to ask you, how do you manage your career and personal relationships, and is it tough to find a balance between the two? Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, that's kind of the the ever evolving process, I think, of working in this industry, um, because it is sort of an all-consuming kind of kind of craft, you know. Um, unlike a musical instrument, where you can maybe maybe 
you know, you practice it for a while, then you put it down, then you go do something else. You know, acting is very much, you know, you know, I, I am, you know, as this person, the instrument for, for the craft. Um, so it is all consuming in that way, which is, which is good. You know, I love that, but it is, um, it is a challenge, you know, to, to, to balance, um, fun and relaxation with, with work and knowing kind of when to, when to turn it off and when to, uh, kick it up an extra gear. Um, and I think, you know, the biggest advice is just being aware, you know, being aware of yourself, being aware of, you know, if, you know, you're feeling overwhelmed or being aware if, you know, also on the other side, maybe you're not working hard enough or if, you know, you're uh, being lazy and, you know, maybe you need to get back to work. So, I mean, it is a balance and it's a tricky one to strike um, in this industry and in the craft. But, um, but yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a good challenge, I think. Um, yeah, I think that's really smart. Yeah. But um, <laughs> what is your advice for aspiring actors? Yeah, advice for aspiring actors. I mean, um, you know, the biggest thing is if you really love it, don't give up because uh, it can be difficult and you're going to hear no and you're, you might hear yes, you might hear great, you might hear, you know, you're not so great some days. So it's a constant journey and a constant um, learning process. It's a constant process of getting better and, and learning about yourself, learning kind of how you can use yourself in the craft. Um, but I think the biggest thing is don't give up. And then, you know, when you get opportunities, work really hard and be focused and be humble and try to make the most of them, really, and just uh, be a good person at the end of the day. It's true. I think that goes with anything, you know. I think yeah, for, if sorry. anyone at the end of the day can just rest their head and say, yeah. I was a good person today, then you're doing better than a lot of others. Yeah, and I think it's so important, you know, is, is to I – read, I read an interesting quote once, actually. I don't remember what it was from, but it said, um, be kind, for we're all fighting a hard battle on some level, mm -hmm. you know. And I think it's yeah. it's important, you know, and it's easy to lose sight of because, you know, someone cuts us off in traffic, and we're like, ah, you know, take them out, you know. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but, no, I mean, it's important to have, I think, kindness and compassion for everybody and, um, you know, really try and see things from other people's points of view and, and um, you know, have, uh, and, you know, get along, which is an important thing as well. <laughs> yeah. I think great advice for just, like, being a good human, so. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say to someone who's struggling to reach their goals in either acting or any other different career? Yeah, field? yeah. I mean, as far as the struggle goes, I mean, it's just important to know that you have to have the struggle in order to to get where you need to go, you know, and that's something that I have had to kind of figure out in my own career. You know, there's certain, I mean, not, not, every day necessarily, but there's certain stretches of time where it feels like maybe if things aren't working quite the way you want them to, or you had a vision of the way some, that you wanted something to go, but it's not quite quite working out. Um, it's just important to know that the struggle is all a part of it, and so you have to take it and say, okay, this is where I am. I'm maybe not where I want to be, but I know I'm not where I was, and so you have to look at that as well. And it's you know a balance with everything, looking at everything kind of as the whole, as opposed to just getting wrapped up in kind of the, the minuteness and the, and the details of it, you know. Um, and then, you know, just be honest and say, all right, well, now what do I need to do to get to where I, I want to go? And if there's things, you know, you need to change with yourself, you know, then you have to just be honest about that, even if it's painful, so. Yeah. Really That's great. Really yeah. great. Well, thank you so much, Michael, for joining us today and taking time out of your busy schedule to talk with oh, us. Yeah. Thank you, guys. This was this was a lot of fun. Yeah, um, we wish you the best and of luck in your career, and I'm sure we'll be hearing really great things from you in the future, guys. Don't forget to follow him on Twitter. His name is on his little name banner down there, and um, 
Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at IAM, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check us out on IAM.com. You can find all of this information in the description box below. Join us next time for I Am In Your Living Room, featuring some of the newest up-and-coming teens just like you. Thank you so much again, Michael. It was really Thank fun. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much.